Palm Springs may take center stage for travel to the Coachella Valley. However, there are so many interesting things to do and places to see nearby. The ultimate in desert hiking is less than an hour's drive away. Joshua Tree National Park offers a seemingly off-world experience with its surreal landscape. One of the most highly rated and easily accessible places to visit in the park is the Hidden Valley Trail. The mile-long loop trail, or 1.6 kilometers, winds through massive boulders. It offers impressive views. Legend has it that cattle rustlers used it to hide out here. Another must-see location is Skull Rock. The look of the natural granite formation says it all. Thousands of years of natural erosion created the appearance of eye sockets. On the way to Joshua Tree, there's a western town to visit and a bar slash restaurant slash music venue known for attracting some of the best indie bands around. Look out for my video on the off the beaten track experiences of high desert life. For a complete change of scenery from the desert landscape down below, and only about an hour's drive away, is the alpine town of Idlewild. Nestled in the heights of the San Jacinto Mountains, it's a dramatic change in culture as well. It's a point of pride here that all shops and restaurants are locally owned, giving the mountain hamlet its unique character. A popular brewery restaurant recently opened with captivating views. The area is also home to beautiful state parks and nature trails, all worth some time to explore and enjoy. It may look like a scene from out of Africa, but this is Palm Desert. The Living Desert Zoo and Gardens is rated as one of the top 10 zoos in the world by Condé Nast Traveler, showcasing and preserving habitats and animals found in deserts around the world. Angry Camels. Not taking any bull. Feeding time for a pack of wild African dogs living among the kangaroos. A trained porcupine takes center stage at one of the wildlife shows. Feeding the giraffes is encouraged. The expansive miniature train network at the zoo is a popular attraction, bringing out the kid and everyone. In sharp contrast, Palm Desert is also home to an upscale shopping district stretching for several blocks and known as the Rodeo Drive of the Desert. 
Given the many galleries and public sculptures that line the street, El Paseo is famous for its art walk. It's a pleasant promenade on a sunny day. The art speaks for itself. The Gardens of El Paseo is an outdoor shopping center with cultivated desert landscaping and areas to lounge that give the place the feel of a fancy public park. Restaurants are many around El Paseo, where outdoor dining takes on a special charm. Not far from Palm Desert is Old Town La Quinta. The Mediterranean-inspired village offers an array of shops, bars, and restaurants in a setting that is truly unique in the Coachella Valley. It is also home to the La Quinta Brewing Company. Any visit to the Coachella Valley should include a stop at Sunnylands in Rancho Mirage. Since the 1960s, the estate has been a desert retreat for elite politicians, entertainers, business tycoons, and royalty. Touring the garden is free, while tickets are available to visit buildings on the grounds. It's a relaxing and meditative experience for anyone wandering around the carefully manicured gardens. Take a moment on a bench for an even more contemplative view. Sunnyland sits on 200 acres and is maintained by the Annenberg Foundation Trust, a nonprofit organization. The expansive desert terrain is also home to one of the largest wind farms in the country. More than 2,000 electricity generating windmills stretch across the Coachella Valley and ring the famous approach to Palm Springs off Interstate 10. First built in the 1980s, the wind turbines have served as backdrops for Hollywood productions, including Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible film series. Guided tours of the wind farms are available or just get out a map and follow the unrestricted roads around the turbines. Much of the Coachella Valley rests on land owned by Native American tribes. This has given rise to a jackpot of casinos. Many have become full-fledged resorts, expanding and upping the ante on the quality and variety of their offerings. Along with four-star hotels are high-tech gambling halls and sports bars, plus a steady lineup of live entertainment. The Agua Caliente Casino is located in downtown Palm Springs, while further east in Indio is Augustine and in Coachella Spotlight 29. Both are local favorites. Fantasy Springs in Indio is a full-fledged hotel casino resort it includes a bowling alley and live tribute bands on the weekends. Aqua Caliente recently opened this smaller branch in Cathedral City. A new type of tourism is sprouting up in Greater Palm Springs around a vice that was recently illegal but has now gone mainstream and upscale in California. 
Cannabis shops are opening up across the Coachella Valley, including this one housed in a former bank building in downtown Palm Springs. It's become an entertainment complex centered around the sale and consumption of all types of cannabis consumables. This includes gummies, chocolates, brownies, vaping cartridges, and good old fashioned marijuana buds. Cannabis infused beer is also on tap. It's clear here that bongs have not gone out of style. Businesses offer tours of the proliferating number of well-guarded cannabis growing facilities throughout the Coachella Valley, which has become one of the most important marijuana producing regions in the United States. Delving into the mid-century modern architecture and design, which has given Palm Springs such a distinctive style, has become a popular attraction in itself. Touring by foot, bike, or car, the neighborhoods of Old Las Palmas and the movie colony, where so many of these homes were built around the middle of the last century, is a good way to start. A lot of them have been restored to their original splendor with contemporary touches. Modernism has grown in popularity ever since and is celebrated every February during a 10-day event with exhibits, lectures, parties, and tours. A museum dedicated to mid-century modern design recently opened in a former bank building constructed in that style in the 1960s. Another long-time favorite way of getting outdoors and a leisure activity that has been synonymous with Palm Springs since its earliest days as a tourist destination is golfing. With close to 125 courses and more than 300 days of sunshine a year, to play golf along the Coachella Valley is to discover why it became so popular with Hollywood greats, former presidents, and an emerging generation inspired by a roster of young and exciting golfing stars. Elite private clubs are many. Public courses are great as well, offering affordable access to some of the most beautiful links in the world. Non-golfers can also enjoy the incredible views as many of the restaurants and bars are open to the public. Adding to the long list of reasons why the Coachella Valley is such a special place to visit.